okay so in this jk flip-flop the q is connected to k and q bar is connected to j the clock is a rising edge clock r is connected to a one r is always one and the wave shape of s is like that so that's the clock let's see we need to draw q so when s is zero q is going high so yeah we'll do here so that's q here q will be high since this is this is the clock here so i will first uh, maybe identify the clocks so say so clock there say so clock there say so clock oops say so clock there one and the um, So that's the clocks. So Q here I will use maybe another color. So Q is one here, and of course Q bar will be zero. So Q bar that is J is zero. So if we identify here, this one is J and this one is K. So J is zero, K is one. So when the clock comes the Q will become zero and it will stay zero while Q bar will become one so now J is one and K is zero so again Q will become one because it will follow J it's like J and K are inverted of course so it's actually acting like a D flip-flop and of course what is q bar is connected to j so this one is again zero and now j is zero k is one when the clock comes here again this one so again this will go down and it this will keep going like that of course so q bar is of course inverted again j is now when this clock comes j is now 1 k is 0 so this is going high again and this one is going low again and here again j is 0 and k is 1 so j q will follow j so low and this is high so that's how it will go